is it too late to start a YouTube channel in 2021? Well, we're gonna cover this topic in detail to let you know whether it is too late, whether you should even bother to start a YouTube channel this late in the game. So if you're curious, let's get into the video. How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Simplicity. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you are brand new to the channel, what about building your brand, business and impact online through social media marketing? So if that sounds like something you're into, then make sure to click that subscribe button and join the Creator Nation. Right, let's get into the question of the day. Is it too late to start a YouTube channel in 2021? Well, the first point that I wanna to cover to answer this question is there's actually more viewers on YouTube than there ever has been since YouTube began. And this is mostly due because of last year with everything going on in the world, there's been more people at home, more people on YouTube and more viewers than ever before. YouTube has released that there's been an influx of viewers on YouTube in 2020, and this is going to obviously blow over into 2021, meaning that there's more viewers, more audiences for you to reach, giving you a greater chance of people discovering your videos if you were to start a channel in 2021. Now, obviously there's more creators than ever before as well, but doesn't that just give you a positive vibe knowing that there's a larger audience, more people to reach, meaning that there is an audience for you to reach. If you can find that audience that enjoys the kind of videos that you're creating, then you can definitely be successful on YouTube. It really comes down to knowing who your audience is, finding a topic that people actually care about and making videos that they love and enjoy. If you can find the right audience that loves your videos, there's no reason why you couldn't succeed in 2021. So that's the first thing, there's more viewers on YouTube than ever before. So it gives you a great reason to still start in 2021 because of the fact that there's more people to reach, a larger audience is out there, and therefore even though there's more creators, there's a larger audience to be reached. The second point as to why you can start a YouTube channel in 2021 is there's a library of knowledge. There's so many creators out there, some even like myself, that actually create videos all about how to be successful on YouTube. There's so many different creators out there. There's Nick Nimmin, there's Think Media, there's Catherine Manning, there's Vanessa Lau. All of these people that are dedicated their YouTube channels to help you grow on social media. Nobody had this before, especially when YouTube just started they had to figure it out for themselves. They had to go through all the uphill and downhill battles and they really had to struggle because they didn't know exactly what works on YouTube. And let's face it, most people who started YouTube when it first began, it was just a hobby. It was just something they enjoyed doing. They never had any idea what that would actually mean in the future. But even only five to seven years ago, people were trying to create YouTube, but there still wasn't a huge knowledge out there of how you can be successful on YouTube, what the YouTube algorithm is looking for. And of course, as time goes on, the YouTube algorithm and all these requirements and things do actually change. So that's why these videos that are out there are so helpful for us new beginners, because we can learn from other people's mistakes mistakes and this is really going to help you to have a successful YouTube channel faster because you don't have to go ahead and make those same mistakes. There's videos out there that can help you to grow faster and to not make those same mistakes. So that's why starting in 2021 you have so many advantages because there's so many videos out there all dedicated to either just telling you how to grow a YouTube channel, how to get more views and even further than that even just your favorite creators you can learn from them by seeing what they're doing, why that's working, how they do their storytelling, how they do their filming and their editing, all of these things are gonna help you to make better videos so that your audience is going to enjoy it faster, which is gonna allow you to grow even faster. So that's why in 2021, it's probably the best time to start a YouTube channel because there's all this knowledge out there helping you to get there much faster without less struggles. It's still not gonna be easy, but there's all of these videos out there to help you. And a lot of people did not have this, especially back when YouTube first began. So this is something that's really, really awesome about actually starting this late in the game, is you have all these creators that are out there to help you. You have all these different creators that you can collab with. All of these advantages that you wouldn't have had if you'd started five to 10 years ago. The third conception is YouTube being oversaturated. People just think it's too late to start on YouTube. They only favor the larger YouTubers and you can't be seen because there's just so many videos out there. How is somebody gonna find my video when there's so many other videos that are doing much better than my channel? It's just not fair, it's oversaturated, it's a waste of time. I cannot start in 2021, it's too late. This is a huge misconception and the reason for this is there's still so much types of videos that nobody has thought about creating yet. If you can find a niche or a topic 
or just taking two niches and meshing them together, you can create a whole new audience that nobody has even reached yet. And this is the really powerful thing about YouTube. If you can find a creative idea, find something a little bit different, find an idea and tweak it. Take two ideas and mesh them together, you can find a whole new audience and you can start reaching that new audience that nobody else has even reached yet. And this is the power of YouTube, guys. There's no such thing as it being oversaturated. Yes, there's more creators than ever. There's more videos than ever before, but that doesn't mean the YouTube algorithm favors larger YouTubers. It just doesn't work like that. The cool thing about YouTube YouTubers, every video has its own chance of doing well. Every video, even a creator's own videos, compete against each other if they're in the same niche and topic. This is the amazing thing about YouTube. That's why you can have one video do amazingly well and one video do terrible. Each video has its own stake, its own claim, and can potentially blow up on YouTube. And that can be, like I said, the same video for us, the same creator can do well and bad. And they're creating the same type of videos, they use the same strategies, and yet one video can do well and one video can do poorly. So this whole big thing about it being oversaturated is absolutely not true. First of all, if you can find a brand new audience, find a new idea, take an idea and twist it, you have a greater chance of doing well from out of the gate because you're gonna be able to reach that audience faster because you've created something new. That doesn't mean that you can't create videos on a popular niche, there's still definitely room to improve on that, but it can be a lot harder and take a lot more time to grow on that because it takes a really long time to reach the right audience and to obviously be seen because there's all these other popular videos out there. Oversaturation is completely not true. It is not too late to start in 2021 as long as you know what you're doing, you use the resources that are out there and you create videos and find the right audience, you can have a successful YouTube channel. Tip number four is there's newer technology than ever before. Every single year they bring out a new iPhone, a new Samsung. These phones that we use just in our daily lives could be used to film your YouTube videos. Even if you have an old iPhone 6, the quality on that is still so much better than like seven years ago. The cool thing about new technology means that we're able to use our daily phones that we use to create YouTube videos. And that is truly amazing because how much technology has improved. Just think about five, 10 years ago, the technology on our phone cameras just wouldn't do it. You just could not film a YouTube video on your phone without the quality being absolutely terrible. And and basically your viewers would leave purely because the quality is so bad the microphone they can't really hear you and the picture is just terrible quality we have that luxury now any phone that you probably have that's no more than three to four years old has probably got an HD camera on it and that is absolutely fine to start creating YouTube videos on so actually starting in 2021 you have that advantage of new technology meaning that your videos are going to actually be really good quality and your videos are going to be that much better than somebody tried to film on their phone five ten years ago so even though you may not have the latest phone with 4K quality video, you don't need that. As long as you've got a phone that's got a camera or even your latest laptop with a webcam is going to be good enough. They shoot 720p HD and that is all you need to get started on YouTube and to start filming videos. And this is a luxury that we didn't have five, 10 years ago. So this is another advantage to starting a YouTube channel in 2021 is because you have this advantage of new technology and being able to create high quality videos that you wouldn't have been able to do at least not as easily as you can now. So that's another advantage of starting in 2021 New technology is at your hands, is at your fingertips to start creating videos. And tip number five to why you should start a YouTube channel in 2021 is, is that goal setting is everything. Make sure that you're setting goals that are achievable. Don't just think I wanna have a million subscribers in one to two years. Don't just think I wanna have 5,000 views within a month. Don't just think about views and subscribers. Think about the smaller things that are more achievable that's gonna keep you focused and achieve those goals. Take a really simple example here. Let's say you're creating videos that are 10 minutes long and your goal could be, I wanna make sure that people are enjoying my videos, that they're enjoying my content and my time and effort is going into making sure I'm creating high quality videos that people are gonna watch for 40 to 50% of the duration. So this is your goal, to get people to watch four to five minutes of every single one of your videos. This is something that you can look at every single video that you upload, check to see how long people are watching it, why are people leaving the video and improving on this. This small little goal that you're trying to 
to say it may seem daunting it may seem really really boring to do but this is something that in the long run is going to really help you to have a successful YouTube channel setting these small goals is what's going to help you to grow that much faster in the future so goal setting is really really important set a goal for yourself that I want to upload once a week once a month whatever it might be set a goal that you want to have a thousand subscribers by at the end of the year whatever it might be make it an achievable goal make it a goal that you're going to get to and if you get there that much faster that's only going to encourage you to keep going and pushing for even harder goals make these goals really achievable maybe you want to make sure you're making high quality thumbnails and you want to aim for a certain percentage of your click-through rate maybe you want to look for ranking in YouTube search whatever it might be it needs to be something that you can reach maybe within a year or so sometimes shorter and make it something that's not just based on views and subscribers because that is something that can be very very hard to reach and it's going to be very disheartening if you don't reach those goals so set smaller goals that actually mean more than views and subscribers set goals like making sure people are watching your video for a long period of time make sure you're reaching the right audience think about who your audience actually is set goals about actually thinking who my audience is who am i trying to reach and that way you can set better thumbnails make better video titles all of these things because you know who you your audience is and who you're trying to reach so if you can set goals that are achievable it's really going to help you to grow in the future even in 2021 right guys that was my five quick tips of why it's not too late to start a youtube channel in 2021 in fact i would argue to say it's probably almost one of the better times to start a youtube channel because there's more viewers available there's more knowledge out there you're able to learn from other people's mistakes. Of course, it's not gonna be easy. There are harder challenges because it's that much harder to get views and to be seen by people. But if you know what you're doing, if you know who your audience is and you can reach that audience, you are going to grow. It's just gonna take time. So no, it is not too late to start a YouTube channel in 2021. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you did enjoy this video, I know you'll love these other videos. Go ahead and check those out and I'll see you over there. Peace out.